let's go there with artificial intelligence. We just, we just got back from Davos and that was literally every storefront had AI, which makes you know that it's definitely uh, the hot topic. I'm curious at what point, first to start with the churn that we see in the labor market, how difficult this is gonna be to really measure whether it's increasing productivity, whether it's causing people to leave the workforce, just the messiness of this transition over the next few years. It, it's going to be messer, uh, messy, but it's that messiness is positive long term. It's what economists call creative destruction. That's code word for saying AI it can do it roughly 70 percent of human tasks, not 100 um, percent, but it's not going to automate everything. Uh, think of it like the computer. Our analysis, which, again, is just hitting the wire, is going to be more transformative than the personal computer and the Internet, closer to electricity. So if you're not an economic historian, that's just code word. That's a big impact. It's more power tools than automation, but the irony is, is that what is what has been holding growth back in the United States is not a lack of workers. It is the lack of automation in the service-based economy. That's why we have full employment, but everyone still says 2% trend growth. How, how do we get higher growth? And you get it through automation because we're not gonna have enough workers if we do work today, same way 10 years from now. And so that's what AI has the potential to do. I'm not being just a techno optimist and it's going to cure all things. That I am not saying that. I am saying the odds are skewed to having higher growth than what economists and most policymakers are assuming 10 years out. This is not going to happen tomorrow. Electricity took 30 years to transform the economy. The computer, at least 20. The short, our, our, our window will be shorter but it's going to take some time for businesses to change their practices for you and I, at least, or at least for me to get more comfortable using it. It just takes time. It takes time, but it will happen. Um, it's not a foregone conclusion, uh, but the future bottom line, it is a horse race between AI that could push up growth above our borrowing costs. If it's not transformative enough, then that's when the debt issues start to crowd out the growth. So it really is a bimodal uh, outcome going forward. Which raises this question of how you best, I guess, bet on that. And you just go into NVIDIA. Is this the reason why indexes, especially how sort of top heavy they are with the Magnificent Seven or the couple that are more specifically in AI? Do you just sort of board that boat? I would say, I would actually, I'm the exact opposite. Now, I don't know individual companies. I am not picking on any tech company. I'm really not. All I can say is what I, I have done a lot of my academic career through history. Now, it doesn't repeat, but I can tell one thing that's saliently clear, and that is when technologies transform an economy, it's, it's transformative because it affects all other sectors beyond the sector that that originated. So when the locomotive came along, the best stock that was not the locomotive companies. It was the companies that were harnessing that technology to do all other sorts of things. Think about the computer. I'm not saying it's bad that we long computer manufacturers, but computer was transformative because what it did for retail for what it did for healthcare, for what it did for other. So if AI is as transformative as that, I'm not saying I would short growth companies' stocks. I'm just saying if it's only helping those companies, then it's a dud. It's not going to be transformative. So if it is transformative, I would be long to equity risk premium and I would be long value companies over growth because I can tell you this, the growth stocks in general are discounting higher growth already. The value-based companies are not. And so from a relative valuation perspective, if I was going to be long on one part of the market for the next 10 years and close my eyes, it would easily be value companies over growth. Not because I'm, I'm anti-technology. I'm actually telling you there's upside risk to technology. But you have to marry that with the valuation. And if it's transformative, it's got to get outside of its own sector.